this is a Kirchhoff's law problem, so rules. This long end is the positive part, the short is the negative part of the battery. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to send a loop of current around each, well, each current, each loop gets its own respective current. And we're always going to subtract off resistor voltage contributions. If the current comes out of the positive end of the battery, the battery is a positive battery. If the current goes into the positive, so coming out of the positive, positive battery. Going into the positive, negative battery. And then the other thing is we write down each equation from the perspective of that actual loop. So for loop 1, this is loop 1, this is loop 2, let's do our equations. So we have the negative 3 ohm resistor times I1. We go down the middle, we are now in the 2 ohm resistance. That's I1 going down the resistor and I2 coming up the resistor. And then finally we run into our battery. So we end up getting um, negative 5 I1 plus I2 equals 1 volt. Not a lot we can do with that. Let me make sure I got that right. No, that's plus 2 I2 because we're going to distribute that negative 2. All right. So negative 5 I1 plus 2i2 equals 1. Now for the second battery, um, for the second loop we're going to have negative 2i2 minus the 2 volts. Actually, let me start over. I'm at that negative, I'm at the resistor. I'm at the opposite to resistor consuming voltage. I write down i2 minus i1 because now we're looking at it from the perspective of resistor 2. Minus the 2 volts, minus the 1 ohm times I2 equals 0. Let's simplify this now. We're going to have um, 2I1 minus 3I2 equals 2. All right, now we can simplify. We've got two equations we can simplify. Um, I'm going to take equation 1 and times it by 2 and equation 2 and times it by 5. That's going to give me negative 10 I1 plus 4 I2 equals 2. And then for equation 2, 10 I1 minus 15 I2 equals 10. And now I add these equations up. I'm going to get negative 11 I2 equals 12. So I2 equals negative 12 over 11 amps. What that negative sign means is that I2 is in fact going, um, rather than clockwise, it's going counterclockwise, but we needed to change. We do not need to change any arrows. We just leave it as a negative. Now I'm going to back substitute. So I'm going to say um, here, 2I1 minus, so I'm plugging this back into 2. Minus 3 times negative 12 over 11 equals 2. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I'm going to get I1 minus 3 times 6 over 11 equals 1 when I divide. So that's I1 equals, let me make sure I got this right. Um, those should be both positive now because negative times negative is positive. So I'm going to end up getting here, I1 equals 11 over 11 minus 18 over 11. I1 ends up being negative 7 divided by 11. So those are the two currents, but we want the current through our, through the 2 ohm resistor. Well, that's going to end up being I1 minus I2, the absolute value of that. So that's going to end up being negative 7 over 11 minus negative 12 over 11. So that's going to end up being negative 7 plus 12 over 11. That gives me 5 elevenths of an amp going through this 2 ohm resistor right there. So that wraps up our first practice test.